Californians are urged to avoid charging electric vehicles. Days after the state announced ban of new sales of gas-powered cars by 2035. You can't make this stuff up. I, I believe California, uh, California politicians are idiots. And I'm not saying this as a character assassination or an ad hominem attack or anything like this. I'm saying they are literal idiots. These people aren't the brightest people <laughs> in the country that's running California because this makes no sense whatsoever. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we get this information out there. Subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my... um to my Twitter, where you can follow me there, where I put a bunch of news there. All right, let's talk about this news. California energy managers are warning that an expected heat wave over Labor Day weekend could cause blackouts and are urging state residents to conserve energy, which is bad news for electric vehicle owners. And, and, and that's the point I'm trying to get at. I don't, I don't understand. If, if but if by 2035, you're going to get rid of all gas powered vehicles, no more selling the gas powered vehicles. That means you want everyone to drive these EVs. But what are you going to do in times like this where you're telling people not to use as much electricity, telling people not to plug in their vehicles? How are they supposed to get back and forth to work? How are they supposed to travel if they can't plug in their EVs? So, I mean, <laughs> did they not know that these problems were going to arise when they came up with this stupid uh, um, law of uh, banning the sale of uh, gas power vehicles? I mean, I mean, these people are idiots. It's not like no one in the room came to this conclusion. So that's that's why I, that's why I believe they're idiots, because either they're idiots or they're evil. They want to they want to destroy uh, California. I, I, I don't get it. And, and then you got certain states like Virginia that tie their um, their um, climate stuff with California. So now that California is banning um, electric vehicles, now Virginia has to do the same thing. This is crazy. This is crazy. And this is this is it's illegal at, in the first place because they're supposed to get a waiver from the um, um, from the EPA saying that they can set these crazy standards, which they never got a waiver for. But the California Independent System Operator, a nonprofit that manages the power grid of 80% of California and a small part of Nevada, issued a bulletin Tuesday announcing that extreme heat conditions are likely to strain the grid with increased energy demands, especially over the holiday weekend. The ISO said temperatures are expected to be 10 to 20 degrees warmer than normal through Tuesday, September 6th and that the peak load for electricity is projected to exceed 48,000 megawatts on Labor Day, the highest of the year. Quote, the power grid operator expects to call on California's for voluntary energy conservation via flex alerts over the long weekend, the bulletin announced. If a flex alert is issued, residents will be urged to reduce energy use between 4 and 9 p.m. to relieve stress on the power grid. Quote, Set thermostats to 78 degrees or higher, avoid using large appliances and charging electric vehicles, and turn off unnecessary lights, the ISO advised. The warning came days after California's Air Research, Bo Research Board voted to ban the sale of new gas-powered vehicles by 2035. All new cars, trucks, and SUVs sold in the state will be required to run on electricity or hydrogen. Experts have warned that California's power grid does not currently have the capacity to add millions of electric vehicles that need to be uh, charged to operate. And, and they don't. I mean, imagine all imagine millions of new vehicles being being plugged in to their power grid. I mean, it's unsus it's unsustainable. I don't know how they're going to sustain this, especially when they're not creating new power plants in, in California. And, um, and you need they need to switch over to nuclear. You can have clean nuclear power plants, but but California refuses to do this because of the crazy EPA standards that they have in California. But California unit utility company Southern California Edison has pledged over five billion to modernize the state's grid to meet future demand to power mandated electric vehicles. I don't believe it. Uh, but those projects are far in the future, and critics in California's green energy initiative 
ridiculed the state for mandating electric vehicles and then telling people they can't charge them. This is crazy. Well, quote, last week, California announced a ban on sale of gas cars by 2035. This week, they're telling people not to charge their electric vehicles, tweeted John Cooper, a spokesman for the Conservative Heritage Foundation. I mean, this this makes no sense. You know they're getting clowned on Twitter for this. Um, and quote, good luck getting to work without charging all your EVs. California Newsom is pushing to keep the state the state's last remaining nuclear power plants open because it's the only reliable zero carbon energy source. Um, permanent roving blackouts likely um, without the extension. Uh, Daily Caller tech reporter Christopher D. White said. And, and, and so wh- I don't understand why aren't they making new power plants? I mean, we know we can have zero carbon em- emissions with these um, nuclear power plants, but they refuse to do it. And quote, California is on track to phase out gas power vehicles in a widespread push to electric vehicles by 2035, yet is warning of blackouts and grid um vulnerability tweeted rep uh jeff duncan from south carolina he um how is the electric grid secure enough to support a population of evs in just over a decade because it takes and it takes time to build these power plants it takes time to um um, shore up the power plants that you already have so this is not going to happen by 2030 this is not going to happen by 2035 where they'd be able to handle all these evs but I mean, but again, California is a failing state. That's why people are fleeing because of this crazy stuff. And they try and, and then they're exporting all this craziness to other states like Virginia. Then I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Virginia governor uh, would do something about it and try to get rid of that stupid law there for the um, people in Virginia. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share and subscribe and check out the for the latest in news. Until next time. Peace.